My name is Melissa Kimball, and I am the founder of Black Creatives, and it is October 19th, 2016. So Melissa was born in Chicago. I lived there as a, as a kid, and then we moved away down south. Um, so if you ever hear me talk and I have a little bit of twang, that's <laughs> where that comes from. Um, but Melissa is just really a very compassionate person at heart, um, very much so about helping other people and also very creative. I've always loved to write, always loved to tell stories. And I think that's essentially, that's who I am. Black Creatives is really an online, like digital destination that I created to kind of help creatives of color. Um, once I graduated from college and realized that there were no opportunities available, you know, for us, and not just opportunities as far as like career opportunities, but just opportunities for us to get together and really build and form a community, um, I created this digital de destination. And so now it's turned, or well, I'll say evolved into more of a like a lifestyle brand for the black creative professional. And then we always share tools, strategies, insights, just experiences, anything that can help the next person, you know, move forward with the vision that they want for themselves. And actually started um, just as a blog. Um, I wanted to, you know, have a creative outlet after I graduated college and really like to interview people and tell people's stories in hopes that other people would be able to learn from them. And so it really started off as a blog and really I was just interviewing a bunch of different creatives and it really just formed from there. But I had a background, um, you know, in journalism and digital media. And so that's what led me to create my own blog and it, it grew, it took on its own life. The ultimate goal is that, you know, we, especially when I, and I say we, meaning like, you know, black creatives, creatives of color, um, we really do drive culture, like pop culture is essentially black culture, right? And so you see a lot of the mainstream media and these brands and corporations that they'll use our ideas and our content, but we are not getting compensated for it. Um, we're not getting hired in these positions. So my ultimate goal for black creatives, it may, and it may seem a little ambitious to some, but I like the challenge, um, is to really act as a liaison between you know, these brands and these media companies and corporations and this demographic who's really um, underrepresented in these creative industries. So a first generation dreamer is a term that my friend Kelsey actually came up with. And basically it's someone who comes from a family background where no one in the family has any type of creative experience. You know, a lot of us in our culture come from, you know, families who no one's been to college, you know, no one's worked at an agency, no one's worked in any type of uh, creative professional sense. And so that's what a first generation dreamer is, someone who is really setting out on their own path and, and striving to, to break from just the normal, you know, traditional jobs that we often undertake. Well, I think that dreaming is so crucial for communities of color is because we really live in a society that tries to suppress who we are and what we do. And again, we'll take our ideas and we won't get compensated for it and won't get credit for it. And so I think that if we learn how to maintain our imagination and our spirit and our energy, then that's what keeps us going, even if the world doesn't give us credit. Uh, really to help people, um, and but also really to help myself because I was in a place where I was depressed um, and I did deal with a lot of anxiety. And so, you know, really giving myself the opportunity to not just heal, but to also create the life that I want for myself, that's what drives me. You know, the advice that I have for those, you know, young entrepreneurs, creatives who are trying to balance a nine to five and their dreams um, is to really just be realistic. You know, every day can't be a great day. Every day you can't, you won't have time to do what you really want to do. And you just have to suck it up. Unfortunately, it's just, it's not fair, but um, I think, you know, being realistic and also understanding that a, a, there's a specific level of sacrifice that has to be involved, it'll take you far. I'm inspired by a lot. I, I would say I'm inspired by something different every day. Um, but I would definitely say one thing that's really inspired me lately is Solange's album, A Seat at the Table. Um, I've been a fan of hers 
since she was a teenager and I was always like rooting for her. Um, even when people thought she was weird or thought she was different. So it's really great now not to just see her get her credit and her just due, but to also see that she's, you know, evolved on her own terms and her own timing and that no one was behind her doing, you know, creating what it is she wants to create. She really did do it on her own terms and she did it as herself. And I really felt like that sent a message to say, like, you control your own pace, like nobody does it for you. And that was really inspiring to me. The advice that I would give to my younger self would be to trust yourself. Um, I think we're taught early on to follow a specific guideline or follow a, a blueprint, even if it doesn't feel right or if it doesn't feel like something we should be doing. And I feel like if I would have learned to trust myself earlier, um, things would have been a lot smoother. So people can stay in contact with me and my work through um, the Black Creatives website. It's blkcreatives.com and then also melissakimble.com and I'm also on social media at melissa underscore Kimball. Just make your own rules and don't feel like you need anyone else or anything else to get to to validate what you're doing. If you want to do it, do it and you'll, you'll find a way, like you'll be able to find a way. Once you make the decision to do what you've been called to do or do what you feel like you were meant to do, I think everything else will fall into place.